welcome back to another video guys thank you for staying tuned as you can see by today's video title i'm going to share my knowledge and experience with you guys when it comes to training with the perfect sets and reps number and i will show you what i did in order to put on more muscle especially when i was skinny and as always i'm not going to be feeding you guys any bullshit like other youtubers and again i'm not trying to sell you no programs because i ain't got no programs i just have knowledge and experience and that's what i'm going to share with you guys so we can all grow together and make some serious gains so stay tuned so guys recently i've been getting access to my garage i moved everything out i'm putting that i'm putting my gym in there basically i'm going to make that into an indoor garage gym and over there i'm going to be training and filming most of my videos and yeah i'm going to be sharing a lot of knowledge and experience and all of my experiences with you guys again any questions leave them down below i'm going to answer every single one of them you need help with something no matter what it is i will find a way to help you okay so to start it off when i was skinny guys i didn't only pay attention to my nutrition but i also paid attention to how i was training because training is also a very important part so today i'm going to be speaking to you guys mainly about training and how it helps so as you can know by my videos in this channel i do a lot of calisthenics and i mix and match it with weightlifting a lot of people might say that weightlifting does not help you gain muscle or get make you bigger and stronger but that is not true it's because they don't know how to train you got to know how to train for me i always mix both weighted calisthenics with weightlifting i just love mixing it that's how you get most of your gains right and that's how actually i got most of my gains so during the quarantine since i haven't had access to so much heavy weights on to this day in my garage i started off by training my pushing muscles which was basically my chest muscles not my shoulders but mainly my chest that's what i was focused on so i did only two movements i did not train any skill training for calisthenic wise i only did weighted calisthenics on this day which was i started off by doing nine sets of one single every minute i did weighted uh 135 as you can see on this clip over here i'm gonna play i was just seeing where i was because since i didn't have access to so heavy weights during this quarantine I didn't know or I don't know if my strength dropped or how should it look like you know I just wanted to know where I was but reality is I maybe lost not too much strength honestly because I was training hard at home with my body weights and guys even though I didn't have access to a gym I knew how to train I had the knowledge that's why I could maintain a good amount of muscle mass and I was able to still build muscle and maintain some amount of strength I didn't lose a lot of it but I could still maintain it and if I can do it you can do it too it's all about what you know guys if you've come this far in the video please leave a like or a comment and a subscribe to my channel because it's gonna really help me out a lot and I want to grow and I can't do that alone if you leave a like a comment and subscribe to my channel I will grow and as I am growing I will make sure that you all are taken care of and you all grow with me I promise you that anyways guys back to my training so on this day I did nine sets of one single with 135 on the weighted dip and after that I just did five sets of five reps with 90 pounds on the weighted dips and it wasn't it wasn't that hard it was like I felt a little fatigued my triceps and everything because I haven't done weighted stuff for so long but um, all I'm saying is I just wanted to know where I was exactly when it comes to my strength level and look at this guys after doing my weighted dips I moved on to doing weighted push-ups and guys I didn't have anyone putting the plates on my back I did it myself that's my way of doing it and on weighted push-ups I did five sets of ten reps weighted push-ups and weighted dish dips <laughs> Weighted push-ups and weighted dips are both a good combination when it comes to building insane pushing power, especially your chest. You are going to build a mat, like a really strong chest. Your chest is going to be like a plate of armor, but you got to know what you're doing. A lot of people ask me, Danny, what's the perfect sets and reps? What's the perfect rep number when it comes to building muscle, when it comes to doing this? Well, it depends. Even your, if your body can handle two reps of a certain weight, that means that two reps you are building strength and with strength muscle follows remember that the stronger you are the more muscle you're gonna have but that does not necessarily necessarily mean that the bigger guy is the stronger guy I've seen people who are strong or athletes who are strong but they're not too big they're like they look just like me just normal 
So you gotta ask yourself what exactly you're looking for. Are you looking for building muscle? Are you looking for losing body fat? Are you looking for building muscle and strength? Or are you just looking for building strength? You you can't like you can't run after everything at once, especially when you're a beginner and you don't know what to do. Go after one thing. That's what I did. When I was skinny and I was small, I ran after one thing, which was building muscle. Once I understood that, then I ran after building strength. And once I understood that, then I was running after building muscle, strength, and losing body fat at the same time. And I did it, you can do it too. But guys, remember, my training played a big part and also along with my training, my nutrition played a big part as well. All right, don't forget that. On my videos right here, I'm gonna be showing you how I train so you understand. You get the base knowledge because I'm not trying to sell you again. I'm not trying to sell you a program. I'm trying to give you the knowledge and, and like information that is like true, that it works. I don't know why you guys wanna go ahead and follow, <coughs> excuse me. I don't know why you guys wanna go ahead and follow these programs of these different YouTubers, buying their stuff, all of this. It, I mean, if you wanna go ahead and buy somebody's program, then go ahead, but for those who do not have the money or anything to buy the program, just follow my videos, try to understand what I'm saying. If you have any questions, comment down below. I will answer you. I don't care how many questions you have. I will answer to every single one of your questions. All right? If I had to pick between two styles of training when it comes to weighted calisthenics or weightlifting, I wouldn't pick one only. I would pick both and combine them. That is exactly how I train. That is exactly how I've been training. And that is the reason why I put on more muscle because I wanted to be the best in both worlds. And guys, you can be the best in both worlds. A lot of people will tell you just focus on, on one thing, but that is when you're a beginner, just focus on one. But as you grow and get advanced and get the knowledge and the experience, obviously the strength, that's when you can combine both. That is exactly what I did. And again, if I can do it, you can do it too. There's gonna be a lot of you guys who will be interested in weighted calisthenics and how you can start. I actually have a video which is which is something I'm gonna link in the description down below and in the card. It's a small video, not too big. I said everything I could and made you guys understand and even sets and reps, everything included. It's a weighted calisthenics video where I showed you about weighted push-ups and the advantage of it. Not too long the video is, you're gonna understand. I highly recommend you watching it, okay? I'm gonna link it down in the description below and in the YouTube play cards on top so that way you can just click on it and go there immediately. That video will help you a lot, okay? That video is really, really gonna help you a lot. So make sure to go and watch it. So to wrap up this video, guys, don't only focus on weight lifting or just calisthenics itself. Try to understand and see what you want in the beginning. Maybe build muscle, maybe lose some body fat, maybe gain strength, especially for a beginner that is. If you're a beginner, ask yourself what you want, go after it. If you wanna build muscle, I'm gonna make mu I'm gonna make more videos on that. If you wanna build strength, I'm gonna make more videos on that too. And once you acquire the strength or the physique you got, only then start combining and doing other stuff. Don't confuse yourself. Don't make things complicated, okay? It only takes like it only takes like five months. That's it. In five months, you can build a good amount of muscle, especially when you're a beginner, and you can have a good amount of strength as well. But you gotta know what you're doing, okay? If you guys found value into this video, please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm always gonna be here to help you guys a lot. Anything you need, just leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thank you all. And stay tuned for my next video. Stay safe.